Say, my name is Zoe, and I'm cute. No, you're not feeling it today? Hmm? Mm, your breath funk it out. Hey everybody, my name is Kalia. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, this is gonna be my top five natural hair products of all time, okay? My cannot live without, my rider dies, my products that literally never fail me, never let me down, always guaranteed to come out with a W, okay, honey? Um, I've been through so many products. Y'all don't even want to know what my... Um, storage is like for my products because I have so many it's just it's honestly it's kind of embarrassing so when I say that these are my top five honey you can bet your ass they're my top five okay <laughs> I've been through so much stuff and I've kind of just tried it all so I know at this point my go-to's what I like and what I don't I'm gonna go through them just in the order of how I wash my hair. It's not really like from least to greatest or greatest to least, but just how I do my hair wash day in the shower. Please guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So interact with me down below. I'm really curious to see um, who watched this video, who liked the video, and I really just wanna chat with you guys, get to know you guys. So uh, please leave a comment down below. Actually, I have an assignment for y'all. Leave me, if you don't have a top five leave me your just your number one favorite product in the comments below I really want to know what you guys like let me know let's chat about it but these are the best so I mean we can argue if you want or whatever no I'm kidding <laughs> um but yeah just let me know what you like down below uh, this is my first YouTube video officially officially I've been trying to do this y'all for years like before I even went to school like it's been like five plus years that I've been wanting to do this and I just haven't had the courage to do it to be honest so um yeah I'm excited I'm nervous I'm scared but I'm excited but I'm ready to get into the video so let's do that yeah. all right so let's get started um like I said, I'm just going to do this in the order of how I wash my hair. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is a cleanser. Now, I know I just got this stuff out of my shower, so it's like kind of wet because I washed my hair this morning. I know that there are uh, there's a lot of controversy okay, around cleansers and, you know, sulfate free. Should I use sulfate? Should I not? Um, it's a war zone out here. It's a war zone in the natural hair community. I understand both sides, to be honest. I um, feel like my hair, personally, I do not need a cleanser that's going to strip my hair every week. That's a little bit too harsh for me. But I definitely need that here and there. So I use, like today, I use the clarifying conditioner. I use some Tresemme um, that had plenty of the sulfates in it, honey, because I really needed it a deep clean. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't do that every week. In between those wash days where I'm not using um, my sulfate, 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 I keep on saying sulfate. What's that? My sulfate cleanser. I am using a sulfate free cleanser. This right here is really the best sulfate free cleanser I have tried to date. I told y'all I'm a product junkie, okay? I'm fiending for the products, honey. I'm scratching, I'm itching, I'm smacking. I need it. And I need it now, okay? This right here though, oof. this is the Camille Rose Naturals Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse with castor and aniseed oil. Looks a little something like this. I know my lips are a little bright, but it looks a little something like this right here. Um, it's good. It's just it's just so good. So it's sulfate free, but it lathers like my Tresemme. Okay, it lathers so well. So it really ha leaves your scalp feeling clean. If you're one of those people that you need a lot of lather. She's it, okay? When I wash my hair with this, it feels moisturized but clean at the same time. So, it's really crazy to think about because you're like, moisturized and clean. How, Sway? Explain it to me, Sway. I don't know what she put in here, 
but it's everything. My hair feels defined. I can actually kind of like rake through, which is crazy, rake through my hair with just using this. Not even, I haven't even applied the conditioner yet. I just put this on, I rinsed it out, and my hair feels that good that I can rake through it with my fingers. I've never experienced that ever before using this. So please pick this up if you haven't already and give it a try. She is a winner. My next product is deep conditioner because typically once I'm finished shampooing, if I have a good deep conditioner, I will not need to go in with a rinse out conditioner and detangle and then rinse it out and then apply my deep conditioner. Like if my deep conditioner is A1, I just have to put my deep conditioner on right after I finish shampooing. That's just what I do, right? So I will go right into, and y'all, this is a new find. This is new. Like I just picked this up maybe a month and a half ago, but when I tell you she's top notch, she's top notch okay this is another camille rose product this is this is my last camille rose product so this 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 video isn't all about her um but this is the camille rose Baridi. we don't go with Baridi nectar repair cholesterol treatments it's an exotic blend for dry brittle and lifeless textured hair i have all of that lifeless limb she's barely hanging on honey okay so i saw this and i said get in my basket get in my basket get in my shower get in my house and get on my head thank you very much and uh best choice i ever made this has a super 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 sweet smell um it kind of makes my mouth water it smells like candy or cake batter or something. It's very sweet, um, but it's not overpowering to be honest. But this deep conditioner is, it makes my hair feel like butter, straight butter. Like I put this on, it has so much slit. I can detangle with it. Looks like this because I didn't show you guys. Like this. I can detangle with it. It just melts right into my hair. I don't find that I need a whole bunch. Um, but this didn't last me for forever, right? This is a... Oh, okay, honey. Grab it. Grab it. This is an 8 fluid ounce container. I really wish it was like 12, to be honest. I feel like most of my Shea Moisture Deep Conditioners are like a 12 ounce. This is 11. So, yeah. I want more product for the money because again it was a little bit on the pricey side i'm gonna leave that here on the screen um but i still feel like it's worth it like i'm still gonna repurchase it though once i finish talking all this stuff about the price like i'm still gonna get it next week honey so like what are you complaining for if you haven't picked this up you really need to right now i found mine at sally's um and i also found my sweet ginger rinse I feel like a target so my next two products um are in the same category they're two leave-ins but i just had to mention them both because i really couldn't decide um the first product that i'm going to mention is made by a fellow youtuber here on youtube what um michelle i'm gonna leave her uh channel and everything down below she creates her own natural hair products and they are phenomenal i've been watching her since i've been watching youtube and that was like way back when i was a freshman in high school and she was really one of the, like the first her and natural 85 with me um they were like one of the first women that i saw that looked like me that were doing their hair on youtube so um i'm all about supporting them honey and that's why i repurchased this so many times this is the Mish Lavish Leave-In Conditioner. It is a bomb. It has uh, aloe vera and avocado oil. And my hair absolutely loves this. I use it for wash and goes. I've used it for braid outs. I've used it under protective styles. Um, I've used it for a bunch of different things. It gives me crazy definition, crazy slip. It smells good, I believe. I haven't used it in a while, so I can't remember. Ugh. It smells like candy. Her deep conditioner is also super good, but I could only choose five products and I had to get this other leave-in in here too. 
you need to try Mish, honey. I will have a link down below in the description box um, for you guys that are interested in trying out her products. But when I tell you they're super high quality, they're super high quality. They smell really good. It gives you super good slip. It doesn't have any silicones, drying alcohol, sulfates, parabens, mineral oils, synthetic colors, phthalates, and they don't test on animals. Um... I mean, it's just really nice. And now I believe I have the old packaging, but I'm almost positive that she now has this leave-in in a pump, um, which was, it was kind of frustrating when I was like trying to uh, like really get it out. But now you can get this in a pump, honey. So you really need to go over there to her website. Um, again, I'll have it down below and I'll also put the price on the screen, but Mish, she's top notch. All right, so this next product is also a leave-in. I could not choose just one. Um, both of these are my jams, honey. They are so good. This one right here is a full jar because I just repurchased it again. It's the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. If you know me. There we go. If you know me, honey, you know, you know, you already know that I run, okay, full-blown sprinting to Target before I even run out of this. Before I run out of her, I get another one, okay? Now, I like, I love the Mish one too, but I just, it's something about just going into a store and grabbing it, whereas that one I have to purchase and ship and all this other stuff this one I can just go get it real quick from my CVS from my salads from my Target from my Walmart and I I got it I need it okay quick quick fast and in a hurry honey so this right here this leave-in is so lightweight um it doesn't really have that much of a smell it smells like earthy I don't really know it's I don't know that was terrible I don't know but it's so lightweight very very light right like it's not it's not super thick it's not extra that's one thing about me is i cannot um use super thick leave-ins like the leave-in needs to be super light um but super moisturizing as well i have low porosity hair and so if i use start using all these butters and creams and leave-ins and all these extra things it'll just weigh me down it'll sit on top of my hair strands and it ain't gonna do nothing for you girl so i really need to have a light leave-in that packs a powerful punch and she is it okay she has no sulfates no parabens no phthalates, whatever that is no propylene glycol no mineral oil no animal testing and no uh petrolatum which looks like petroleum um she has organic shea butter to make it like castor oil and peppermint in it and ever since i've tried this i've been reusing it it's great i mean it's just it's really good again i'm gonna put the price on the screen i have to have this in my stash period period this and that niche they have to be in my stash if i don't have anything else i have to have these period okay my last product is not a product <laughs> Um, my last thing that I have to mention is in fact a tool that has changed my whole wash day routine. It has truly cut it in half. Like my detangling, um, my detangling time now isn't nearly as long as it used to be. I don't lose nearly as much hair. I love it. Everybody that's natural that I know, I'm always like, you need to get this. You need to get this. You need to get this. Get it get it and so now i'm sharing the secrets with y'all because you know what i'm saying we right here we right here we right here you know what i'm saying we open and honest this is an open and honest form okay so with all of that being said i have here the best detangling tool i've ever used in my 22 years of living and my i don't know six years six plus years of being like transitioning into natural and actually being natural so yeah, I've had this for a few months now, and she is the Felicia Leatherwood Detangle Detangler Brush. 
she's high quality okay let me tell you something about her she moves with you okay these uh these are called the bristles i don't know what these are called but the the rows the columns of teeth they move they move like this you don't get nearly as much breakage is my point and showing y'all that you don't get nearly as much breakage when you use this um i find that i don't shed as much as i did when i was using a white tooth comb my dimmer brush even my tangle teaser and i used to love the hell out of my tangle teaser i mean i still use it but this is my go-to to be honest it kind of kind of ish will give you similar results to the Denman, it definitely smooths and clumps, but it doesn't clump as much as the Denman does. Um, if I'm looking to clump my curls together, then I'll detangle with this first and then go over my hair with the Denman. I won't completely detangle with the Denman because I won't have no hair on my head. It's all going to be on the flow. But this will kind of ish give you that similar effect if you're not wanting to go out and purchase the Denman. Um, but if you have both or if you already have the Denman and you're like, mm, it's kind of a little too rough on my hair or you're trying to like remove the rows of teeth and do all this extra stuff to do a modified version of the Denman, the things us naturals have to do, okay, to make sure our hair looks good but not lose all of it, that's too much work. That's too much work. Buy this. Buy this and thank me later. All right, so yeah, guys, those were my top five favorite hair products my ride or die hair products that i cannot live without um again like i said before please you guys comment down below and give me at least your top favorite hair product that you can't live without whether it be a product like an actual product a leave-in gel whatever styler a tool a dryer a steamer anything tell me let's have a conversation let's chat below and let's compare maybe you guys can tell me some things that i don't have in my stash and you guys need to go out and definitely purchase these things for your own, okay? So once you do that, also be sure to let me know how you like them. So again, make sure you guys subscribe and like. Um, give this video a big thumbs up. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye! Hey. It's Bob. It's Bob. It's, it's... Honey, not the lopsided buns, honey. Alright, so let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Hey, go so when I wash my hair with this, it feels moisturized but clean up. Let's start over. Let's let's run that back.